we have temperance energy here first sagittarius energy okay this is somebody on a healing path this is somebody trying to balance their life or on a balanced path okay maybe on a path of like forgiveness or some type of healing process that's going on and it looks like somebody's getting to like a doorway here like someone's getting to a rite of passage because they earned something somebody has balanced their energy we have the king of sword we have an air sign here it's like someone has come into an awareness perhaps of themselves or where they are in their healing or in their journey it's like somebody has earned something here we have the knight of wands okay who is this king of sword knight of wands it looks like somebody is ready to speak they're ready to assert themselves or their ideas or their words somebody's ready to be fearless in this we have the ace of pentacles maybe somebody's going after an opportunity now because they're ready somebody's able somebody's it's like how can i say this you can be educated and still not be ready you can be educated and still not be balanced you can be educated and still not be healed this is somebody that is healed and they're ready to take on some type of opportunity they're ready to plant a new seed they're ready to go after it because there had to be some healing done before this was possible it's like certain certain things you can't do because you have to earn it okay even i'm not even talking about a human structure i'm talking about like a godly structure you can't skip past certain levels like you know let's say if you was a farmer and there was no electricity or no shit nothing nothing right you can't have a seed in your hand one moment and then that become a whole tree you can't skip past the whole process there's a process that had to be you know completed within before something would work or before you would be presented with this look we got the knight of pentacles here it looks like somebody's going to be able to build it they're going to take some type of position that they're ready for and they're going to work very hard is what i'm seeing we have three court cards here the king of swords the knight of wands and the knight of pentacles here and we have the world card yep closing out some type of cycle it looks like somebody is about to do something very big here like somebody is preparing or prepared to do this they're prepared to take this opportunity and take it to the moon if you understand what i'm saying like it's not something that like you know sometimes you can hand somebody a seed you can hand somebody an opportunity and they do nothing with it because they really weren't ready for it and whoever handed that opportunity they would see that but this is somebody that's going to get handed an opportunity or they're actually going to go after this opportunity and they're going to show what they're going to do with it and they're going to take that shit to the sky what did i take it to the moon take it to the stars okay that's what i'm i'm like what did i just say i haven't heard that song in a long time too take it to the moon and take it to the stars what was that kanye beyonce i'm just saying that's the that's the song i just heard we have the lovers card here okay something about partnerships and balancing out balancing your energy oh goodness i just seen the tower card Woo! something is about to be destroyed out here let me get something here with this four of wands we have the magician these look like some amazing ass partnerships that's about to enter somebody's life like this is not even a game here like someone is about to enter an energy where there's a certain like there's a certain uh how can i say frequency and there's how can i say you can't be fucking with anything below that some people gonna hear what i'm saying some people not gonna hear what i'm saying you're about to enter a place where you can't be doing shit that you used to do you can't be in the same place as you used to be because you're not on that no more you're on to something else and your life has to reflect that it's not just an image it's a life okay we have the six of swords energy here this is somebody that definitely has the, the answers to something or they're definitely moving towards something they're not blocked we have the page of pentacles here on top of the knight of wands and this is about building something new this could be learning learning something or laying a foundation here this is somebody that's ready to do this high priestess energy ready to do this some type of knowing or some type of understanding that this opportunity was made for you is something that's made for you because the high priestess is a seer of truth okay the high priestess has already seen something or been through something or they've already walked some type of path and that's why they know the path they know the knowledge so this is not it's something new that's coming in but it's not new it's something that was expected we have the eight of wands energy here yeah somebody's going to focus their energy on this because they know they know this is it they know this is the shit that they've been waiting on this is the shit they've been working on this is the shit they've been fighting for i'm telling you somebody's not going to play when this shit come in yeah we got the nine of wands energy here somebody is going to be ready for this they're going to be very much up on game somebody had to go through a lot is what i'm seeing in order to be ready for this opportunity and i feel like this is really about a job i don't feel like this is about like a love partnership but more like 
more like partnerships in the widest sense, like knowing how to have partnerships, because some people don't know how to do that. I'm just being honest. Some people don't know how to treat people. Some people don't know, okay? And they can't have harmonious relationships because they just don't understand. But I'm picking up on somebody that does understand. We have King of Wands energy. We have a fire sign, perhaps, or somebody that's just very confident in their energy. Somebody that has a very strong energy. In partnerships, we have the chariot energy here, cancer energy. Yeah, this is somebody headed towards the future. Somebody is really aligning everything in their life. Like when what you want to do aligns with what you're doing, that's what I'm talking about. And that also takes a lot of discipline, a lot of self-control to stay balanced like this in order to move forward. It also takes good character. We have queen of swords energy here. Okay, it feels like connections here. It feels like doorways opening. Let me get something with this queen of sword. Wow, we have the five of cups energy here. So what is this? Because somebody's going to be disappointed or somebody's losing someone or losing a, another partnership, an old partnership. Now we have the nine of swords here. Damn, this could be somebody feeling like they're losing you, like you're leaving or something like that. We have the queen of wands here. So we have the king and the queen of wands. We have the king and the queen of swords here. Okay, let me get something here. Feels like somebody is going to keep it moving. Somebody's going to just move. For okay, this is way too many. Somebody's just going to move forward here. Let me get something with this Queen of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. Wow, like, is it that you're leaving somebody behind and they're going to feel like they're depleted or they don't have because you're gone? Or let me get something here with this. Because it looks like somebody has a problem with you leaving because it's like they're losing something. Yeah, we have the Four of Cups energy here. It feels like you're disconnecting, like you have elevated to a certain level. You cannot fuck with certain energy no more. You cannot. Like, I don't know how to say because people don't be listening. Like when you people don't be realizing where they are and people don't be paying attention. That's another thing. If you realize that you've come out of an energy, you come out of a certain like resonating at a certain level and stuff like that. Why are you still in it? Why do you still do that same thing if you're not resonating at that level no more? It's like habitual. I'm getting that somebody is going to be mad because you're breaking a habit. You're breaking something that connected y'all. And you're going into other partnerships here. Sagittarius, Gemini, Cancer here. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands here. Somebody's getting like some type of ability or somebody's very inspired to take action or somebody has, they feel like it's some type of purpose. Some type of purpose has just ignited within somebody. Let me get something here with this. We have the Knight of Swords energy here. Okay, so this is perhaps somebody communicating that they have stepped into their power. I don't know if this is something that's spoken because this King of Wands is going their way. The Queen of Wands is facing a whole nother way. It's like they're not like really looking at each other or communicating or something. We have the Seven of Wands energy. Wow, it's like somebody's attacking another person's new beginning or somebody feels very... They feel a certain type of way because you're very inspired to take some type of action or something has your, something has your attention and it's not this other person, okay? Something has your attention. You're focusing on something. You're going forward with something. And this person feels like it's something personal. And it's like you're trying to get some type of opportunity. This person is really selfish. I'm sorry. They will probably say that you're selfish because you're paying attention to something that you want or you're going after something because you're not resonating at the same level or you're not doing the same shit or you're not talking about the same shit. It's something where the partnership is not on the same level. It's not. There's something that you have earned, that you have prepared for, that you got to go for and you got to close a certain cycle. And this person is sitting here feeling some type of way because they feel like they're going to lose something here we have the six of pentacles here and that's so crazy like what are they losing it went from the five of cups is right here we have the six of pentacles which is someone that is receiving what they put out there they're receiving what they put out there they're not happy with what they put out there that's the problem somebody is in the process of receiving what they put out there and they're not happy with it because it's about what you put into it if you didn't do shit you can't be mad if nothing's coming back to you let me get something here. We have the four of pentacles here. It looks like perhaps somebody is staring at your security or what you're getting. And they feel very attacked by that because they're focusing on you instead of focusing on themselves here. It's like you're definitely having some type of new beginning that you've always known was coming, some type of opportunity. But it's like now this opportunity is going to be able to go into your hand. I don't think it was able to go into your hand before because maybe something about communication or partnerships. Maybe you were not ready to ascend. Maybe you're not ready because, you know, there is there is possibility of people not being ready for certain types of relationships. There are certain type of relationships where you have to be ready 
and ready. Ready. Okay, with a T. You got to be ready, okay? You got to be ready. If you're not ready, it's not going to come to you. And I feel like you're ready and maybe somebody is, you know, not on that same page and they're getting what they deserve, but maybe they don't think, maybe they don't like what they deserve. Maybe they don't like it. We have the Queen of Cups energy here, a water sign. And it's right above, I mean, I'm saying it's right below this Five of Pentacles here. And then we have the King of Cups. They're not even looking at each other. They're like back to back here. They're going opposite ways here. Could be talking about two water signs. We got a lot of counterparts here, y'all. A lot of counterparts. The King and Queen of Sword. The King and Queen of Wands. The King and Queen of Cups. The only thing we don't have King and Queen of is what? The, the Pentacles? Yeah, we don't have one King or Queen of Pentacles. We have a Knight of Pentacles, though. But it's like maybe somebody really feels like y'all was supposed to be together, but y'all not looking at each other anywhere here. Y'all not looking in the same direction. Nowhere that I'm seeing a court card. The King of Wands is looking that way. Queen of, Queen of Swords looking that way. King of Swords looking forward. Queen of Cups looking that way. King of Cups looking that way. Queen of Wands is even looking that way. King of Wands looking that way. Queen of, Queen of Wands looking that way. It's like they're not <laughs> facing each other. They're not looking eye to eye. If that's how it's coming out here. These are cycles that are meant to close. It's somebody that's needing to realize, look, and we have the full card here. Yeah, it's a new beginning here. It's a new journey. It's new energy, new people, new everything, like new opportunity, new energy, new lessons. Okay, nine of pentacles here. Okay, this is like being able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Okay, financial independence here. Let me get something here. Oh, shit, we got the devil. So somebody is going to be mad about this. It could also be you signing some type of contract here. I just saw the Empress. This person is going to be probably a little bit heated that they don't have power over you or they can't control you in some kind of way. It's like they want to control you. They think they're like a glass ceiling to you or something or you can't go above them or you shouldn't be able to go above them or you shouldn't be able to do something without them. Yeah, we have the Four of Swords here. It's like, I don't feel like this person, I feel like this person's having a hard time actually accepting this. The Four of Swords is usually an energy of peace, but I feel like it's something that just can't be said. It's something that maybe it's no choice. They have no choice but to let something go. We have the Page of Cups energy here. Let me get something here. This is somebody that has a desire to connect or they're just very immature. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles energy here. This is somebody that's trying to get some type of results. They could be, it could be like something very childlike, okay, or something very innocent. This person is trying to get some type of results. They're trying to find balance in this situation, but it's like balance has already like they have the balance within them is what i'm trying to say you're not going to balance with somebody else that's not the same weight okay i'm not i'm just trying to say it's something here where somebody's on a different type of energy and you got to focus on that and there's nothing that can be done about that if you don't focus on that you're gonna fuck up all of the things that's coming towards you you can't do the same things that you used to do okay things change it's a new story it's something here that's brand new you can't do the same things that you used to do let me get something here oh we have the moon card here wow Pisces energy here yeah this is this is something hidden here where they can't I feel like somebody's not being honest or they can't be honest they have to hold it together okay it could be like very unconscious uncontrollable emotions very subconscious emotions that they're going through and they think it's your fault but really it's something that they have to balance within themselves you gotta you gotta do the work on yourself right you don't get with somebody so they can fix you you get with somebody so that y'all can help each other or so that y'all can grow together but it's not it should not be a situation where like okay for example it shouldn't be a situation where you leave somebody or you don't you're not dating them you're not married to them no more and you feel like oh i just can't go on oh i'm such a piece of shit because i don't have this person oh i can't do this because i don't have this person you shouldn't feel like that you should feel complete within yourself before you even go into a relationship i'm just saying like some type of completion like something at least being able to acknowledge where you have things that you got to heal Otherwise, you're going to always blame the other person. That's the thing about having partnerships. Some people cannot face certain things about themselves. That's what I'm saying. Maybe you've learned how to do that. And maybe this person has not learned how to do that. Therefore, they can't have a relationship with you because you're trying to heal. And this person's... <sighs> Look, this person needs a little more time. Yeah, we have the five of sword. If, this, if you could only hear what this person was thinking right now, you wouldn't even want to be around this person because it just really shows. And they try to hide it. When you're healed, there's nothing to hide. It's not a trigger no more. If it's a trigger and you just finding yourself having to shut the fuck up, that means that it's not healed. Okay? It's not healed. If you feel like you, you, if you express yourself, you're going to ruin something, yeah, then it's not healed. Okay? It's not healed because you can't control nobody. Love is not when you're walking with somebody and holding their hand. Love is when you're walking next to them and that's it. And if you go this way and they go that way, good. If they don't, okay, well, 
see you next life. You get what I'm saying? But it's not a holding somebody's damn arm trying to keep them with you until you get it together. That's not how we do it. That's not, that's just not how we do it. Look, Ace of Cups, that's just not how we do it. You got to get that healing. You got to work on yourself. It doesn't just happen. You don't just heal. You got to work on yourself. You got to work on those triggers. It's not somebody else's responsibility. Okay? And for one of these people, somebody here has crossed the threshold here. And it is what it is. And you can't blame nobody. You can't blame nobody when God says, okay, you've done the work. Who you gonna believe? You gonna be mad at somebody because they did the work? Do the work then. Yeah, that shit is hard. But if you don't do it, but then what the fuck? You gonna be mad at yourself then? It's true. Some people need to hear it. It says crack shot. It says competent, superior, precise, expert, sharp tongue. Some people need to hear it. It says fine print. See, this is what they don't tell you. Let me get something here. It says read between the lines. Okay? Hidden information. Detail. Look closer. Be careful. That's what it say. It says sap. Resources. Needed materials. This is exactly what I'm talking about. It's something here where there's a person that feels like it's like it's so much deeper than what people think it is. It's so much more deeper. It's not even personal. People be thinking that shit is personal. They be taking it personal. It's not personal. Sometimes you just have to stop doing the shit that you used to do. Like if you had some type of drug addiction, why are you hanging around a person that has not stopped? Why are you doing that to yourself? Why are you doing that to yourself? Why? Don't do that. Like if that person not ready to stop, that's them. You can try all day to stop them, but really you're just keeping yourself in a cycle that you've outgrown and it's not helping them. They need to help themselves. Yes, sometimes some, you know, sometimes people need help. Yes. But if you're not trying to help yourself, then what the hell? If you're not doing the work yourself, what the hell? Hell no. Nah. It says a nom car, unconditional love. And it says map. It says exploration. Find your way. So I do feel like there's some type of love, but just because you love somebody don't mean you're going to stay on the same fucking level. I'm just being honest. Like, I don't think people be knowing. I don't think people be knowing. Like, you can try, try, try. But if a person is not ready to change, <laughs> what are you doing? You're wasting your breath. You're wasting your time. People change when they're ready to change. They change when they're ready to change. You cannot change nobody. Y'all can hear my readings all day, every day. But if you ain't ready to change, you ain't going to change. You could know I'm right in every damn thing. If you're not ready to change, you're not going to do it. That's because it's a personal thing. Don't keep yourself on a certain level just because somebody's not ready because it really that more so enables it. That more so enables them to stay in that same spot because they're comfortable because you're still there. I don't think so. Look at that blinders. You better act like shit. It says train moving on. You better do it. I'm, I'm just saying like people got to take responsibility for that shit, man. It says happening now. People got to take responsibility for that. You can't stay off of your path. You can't keep yourself away from your path just because somebody's not ready to get on theirs. And it's okay if you're not ready. Did I say that? Well, I'm saying it now. It's okay if you're not ready. But what's not okay is to keep somebody in the same spot just because you're not ready. That's not okay. That'll never be okay. That's imprisonment. It says holy love. Okay? Holy love. It says earth and ground. Somebody's got to keep moving on their path so they can get what they deserve. I'm going to leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your like, shares, right? I mean, I'm sitting here reading a card. Thank you so much for your like, shares, and subscribes. I really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.